Okay, uh, man, uh, disappointing. Uh, not just disappointing the loss, but disappointing with um, uh, how, how we how we played. And now, do I think we played hard? Yeah, I do think we played hard. And there were spots where maybe in the stands it didn't look it. Okay, because it'd be a guy that would get run past in the secondary or things of that. I felt like that. Uh, you know, was, I thought JoJo. There were some bright spots there. I thought receivers, Jalen Moore. That was a bright spot. Uh, I thought at times playing. You know, two new stars in the offensive line. There were some plays to where there was, you know, it, it was encouraging. Um, so, but defensively, you know, I think as we go back and look at the tape, we were trying to cover up some deficiencies that we have based on personnel and injuries, okay? So, you know, okay, this is where we're deficient. And it kind of backfired, to be quite honest with you, because not only – when you cover up some things, then you're leaving some other things vulnerable, and those other those weaknesses got exploited, and then the things that you thought you'd be taken away, we didn't necessarily do that. Okay, uh, the linebackers played hard, but they didn't. What we needed them to do was fit on the run games faster and cleaner, and they didn't consistently do that, and that's why we didn't take away the run or the pass. All right, so that was disappointing. And then, like I said, the the big receiver had a good game and just ran right past us and. Um, you know, disappointing. Now they have a good football team. Don't 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 take anything away from Coach Took. And I was telling somebody before I came in here that you know, here's the encouraging thing of being, the good and the bad of being in this league is that you know, Simo. I guess I don't know. I guess it's four losing seasons in a row, and two and nine last year. Then here they are with a chance to con control their destiny to win the to win the league. And you know, so you can get you know they plug in a quarterback in there and everybody else got a little bit better and you said a little bit injury free and now they got a chance to control their own destiny. Uh, you know, so that's encouraging, uh, you know, but same way with Austin P. You go to 0 from 0 and 11 to winning eight games, you know, in 2017. So you can do it real quick in this league, but multiple teams can do it real quick too. So you don't really know what you're getting, you know, until the next year, depending on, you know, Murray, you know, look at Murray, you put that that quarterback in there and and he's a good player and he, he elevated everybody's game and give them, you know, give them a chance and they're having a good year. So. I know it doesn't look like it, doesn't feel like it, uh, but they're, we're not that far away, even though that score didn't, didn't say that. Uh, and that's credit to, to Southeast Missouri. Um, you know, you you know, you let a ball hit off your returner's face mask. You know, miscommunication. And, you know, now you're down 10 to nothing. And then, um, you know, so that, those things are disappointed. I mean, you know, as a head coach, it ultimately, you know, falls on the head coach. But kids have, uh, you know, when we win, that's that's great plays by the by the by the players. And if they don't, then that comes back on us as coaches. So, um, you know, doesn't get any easier this week. Obviously, you turn on the tape of Jacksonville State, and you know they by far are are um, superior personnel-wise to everybody in the league, and they've got great schemes. And you take away that Semo game, um, you know, with the five turnovers and the blocked field goal. You know, I think the, the, well, they give up 31 yards rushing to Murray, you know, Saturday. So, um, you know, you, you know what kind of bus all you're running into when you go on the road this week. So, uh, we'll regroup. We'll go. We'll go practice today. Rain's probably gonna get us on Wednesday, so it's gonna be a little bit no indoor to go to. So we gotta figure out a way how to practice on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, um, you know, you're you're playing for, you're playing because all the uh, coach speak, playing for the next game. You're playing to math says, you know, try to get four and four in the league. Uh, Sergeant York Trophy. You know, uh, this group of kids. I think myself and Coach Bannon are the only two, and Coach Wade are the only people in the building that's ever beat Jacksonville State. You know, so there's some other guys. Uh, you know, you treat it like a like a playoff game for yourself when when you go on the road. Uh, you know, we will. I have. You know we will play hard, uh, but just you, uh, they they play a very very good brand of defense, very you know smothering brand of defense, and so um, you, you, when you get advantage, when you get opportunities to make plays, you better make them, or you're going to end up punting the football. And then and then now that they plug the quarterback in there, now they throw the football around pretty well. They're explosive, unlike our 14 to seven game with them last year. So uh, uh, so they you know they got to win out. Uh, say they Jacksonville State does to be able to you know and hope somebody you know uh, beat Semo. So you'll get a you know get their best shot as well. Mm -hmm. He'll have surgery on Wednesday.
okay. So he obviously he's out for the year. He'll have surgery and uh, about a four month rehab. So hopefully next spring get him back, you know, full. Uh, and like you saw, I told you, you know, JoJo is is is. You know, we got to live through his mistakes right now, inexperience, but the athleticism and things are there. And I thought at times he gave us a spark. And, and you know, the pick before half, that's, you know, he, that's that's just a team pick. That's not a bad decision by him, okay? Uh, but the other two, you know, I think it's a different situation for Joe if the defense would have played better and kept us in the game. You know, now you're looking at 20 to 20 type deal to where you're not just having to you know, helter skelter, throw the ball down, you know, down the field. You're actually able to stay with an offense. So I, I'm encouraged by you know JoJo's, uh, uh, you know, encouraged encouraged by John Bach as the true freshman getting in the game as well. So, like I said, we we've got some players in in, in some spots. Uh, there is some deficiencies uh, with some injuries and stuff to where guys just you know they're not ready to play in the OVC yet. Okay, uh, and we'll just have to make it through that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they rushed three. I mean, now, you, you know, it's it, it's fun. Even though you say they only rush three, we 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 talk about this all the time. Your tackles are still by themselves, so it doesn't matter if they rush two. Your tackles are still by themselves, and you know you're throwing the ball. And so he had time to get the ball off because the tackles are going to rush up the field, and he's got to step up and move and and find. So um, you know, you see that in NFL, you know, every Sunday. So you know, it, it's whether they rush five or they rush two, the tackles are still by themselves, and uh, you know we haven't done a very good job at tackle all year. I think so. You know, uh, now some of that was Southeast Missouri really didn't give you a whole lot of, uh, because of the front they play, there wasn't a whole lot of tempo stuff that we really wanted to do. Um, you know, still in the process of working the game, the game plan. There, there's a, there's a fine line. We're probably not, you know, can't knock you off the ball as much as we would like to, to be able to just, you know, break a huddle and come out and, and you know, get 55 plays and try to score, you know, 28 points. Sometimes we have to use tempo to our, you know, to our advantage. Uh, but on the flip side, you still need to protect your defense because it's 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 not as uh, our our traditionally good defense statistically that that we've had. So there there's some fine lines for that as well. Uh, seeing the injury report, you know, today, I mean, there's still some, you know, JoJo's got a, his thumbs in a splint, so maybe a day or two before before he can throw the ball. So I don't know what I have in practice today. Obviously, John to get box to get most of those reps until JoJo gets to see how the how, how the thumb feels. Uh, tight ends are um, uh, probably um, – they've, they've been fighting through. Both of them got shoulder issues right now. So, uh, we'll, we'll figure out a way to put the best 11 players we have on the field personnel-wise and, and go play. Is that good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.